Once the distal femoral and proximal tibial cuts are completed, trim osteophytes and complete initial ligament balancing. Placing the leg in extension, insert a spacer block into the extension gap. If needed, balance the extension gap using ligament releases until it is rectangular. After the extension gap is balanced and rectangular, measure the gap in millimeters that equates to a triathlon insert. Remove the spacer block and bring the leg into 90 degrees of flexion. Be sure that the sizer balancer's lock lever is set to the right or unlocked position. Insert the sizer balancer placing the feet between the tibial surface and the uncut posterior condyles. Make sure that the sizer balancer is inserted such that its bottom and back surfaces are flush with the resected proximal tibia and distal femur respectively. Inserting a lamina spreader into the notch on the front of the sizer balancer, apply sufficient force to tension both medial and lateral collateral ligaments equally. As you will see, the medial collateral ligament will engage first. The femur will then internally rotate, tightening the lateral collateral ligament until equal tensioning of both collaterals is achieved. Once equally tensioned, leave the locked lamina spreader in place. Adjust the sizer balancer body up or down so that the flexion gap gauge shows the flexion gap equal to the previously noted extension gap. Engage the lock. If the flexion gap cannot be set equal to the noted extension gap and the flexion gap is greater than the extension gap, remove the sizer balancer and increase the distal femoral resection level using standard instrumentation. Size the femur appropriately with the tip of the stylus or blade runner touching the inflection point of the anterior femur on the lateral side. Once size has been established, use the 8th inch peg drill to create fixation pinholes for the 4-in-1 cutting block through the holes on the face of the sizer balancer. Remove the sizer balancer and lamina spreader and continue with the case using standard instrumentation.